And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your We are the last Americans. We are the last Americans. We are the last. Yes, we are Americans. Oh boy, I can feel my nutsack quivering right now. Whoa, I am so excited. I'm an American. <laughs> I got chest hair. Hear me roar. Oh, all right. Indeedy, all indeedy. Right. What up, brother? Well, uh, not much. Welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, yeah, you survived you get, the tornadoes, right? Yeah. Uh, if you guys were, uh, if you guys are on Patreon. Sorry, uh, we canceled on Friday. Uh, there was a bunch of different scheduling shit going on between all of us, really. And it was just didn't work out that night. So Well, yeah, and you wanted to survive. So, I mean, you wanted to pay <laughs> attention to, like, any tornadoes coming your way. Well, that wasn't on That wasn't on Friday. That was uh, Saturday? S- Saturday or s- Sunday? Oh, yeah, Saturday was the worst day. Uh, yeah. yeah, it happened on Friday, dude. Yeah, because... Yeah, because I saw the video on Saturday morning, and they were saying that it was going to be even worse. And I was like, worse than this? Yeah. Like, that Nebraska tornado was literally fucking, like, five football fields, dude. Yeah. This thing was was gigantic. It was fucking huge. It was basically, like, uh, like, the worst of the worst, or the craziest videos you'd see in Storm Chasers. And then also, like, the movie Twister. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was hoping that Bill Paxson would just like <laughs> come around the corner in a truck, like <laughs> like on two wheels, you I feel, know, just I like feel chasing like that shit. If they were ever to do like that, needs to be. I think there needs to be a sequel to Twister. There, pro- you know what? There probably is, and it was probably so bad that we just had never heard about it. You know, probably. it's like one of those sequels. Probably that but, was a really good movie. Yeah, I, I love, I love but you were movie. saying like you had like a tornado about an hour away from you guys. Yeah, there was one that went through. Uh, there was one that started apparently in like College Station area and then went up through uh, Madisonville. Was it pretty it, big? Uh, I don't, not in comparison to Nebraska, obviously. Mm. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't even know how much damage it did. The, I haven't seen anything about the one that happened here. It's all yeah. about Oklahoma well, and Nebraska. I guess like the good thing about the tornado in Nebraska is like no one lives there. So it's like <laughs> no one died because it just tore up a bunch of land. That's all it did. Yeah. Uh, the one in Oklahoma, the only real video I've been seeing going around is the, the drone footage of the, the Dollar General like warehouse. Oh, okay. It destroy it. First of all, that video is a huge fucking warehouse, dude. Like I didn't so like the, what's it called the general the dollar what? the dollar general it's kind of like it's a dollar store. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I can find it on. Uh, but it's a huge, <laughs> huge fucking warehouse. Okay, I think I got it, dude. I I just there's like this uh, Sir Majesty <laughs> on Twitter. I just bookmarked his stuff, but holy moly, dude, this tornado. Just engulfed that whole fucking, yeah. The the Dollar General is gone. Oh, this is a uh, yeah. This is, is the this one. It? This is this is this is in Iowa. Okay. The well, one I thought are you talking about Oklahoma, Oklahoma or where? Yeah, are you the one I th- thought I thought it was in Oklahoma. Oh, I just bookmarked another one then. So it's probably two, this so one. two Dollar <laughs> Dollar Generals got hit by two separate tornadoes. Apparently, uh, you know, <laughs> tornadoes are prejudiced <laughs> against this shit. Dude. They hate the dollar. What the I hate hell? that general. I don't know. But yeah, show that. Like I just bookmarked the second one that you were talking about um, in Oklahoma. Oh. This thing is literally destroyed. This, yeah. That's a huge building, dude. Right? That's what I'm saying. It was massive. Dollar general. Oof. Yeah, this More is like a multi, this multi-million is a, dollar general. Look at this. Ridiculous, dude. Yeah, for all everybody listening on audio, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, the, how the building, big is the this building, building itself is probably what? Uh, I'd say three football fields, two football fields, maybe two football fields, 200 oh, yards. Dude, way longer than that. Okay, 350 it's yards. It's probably, well, let me go back to the beginning where it does like the, the, uh, 
farther away view. It's Oof, pretty big, yeah. dude. That's like 20 acres of a building. I mean, this is almost like Oklahoma City bombing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's But it a, just went right through the... I like right how you just laugh. You're like, ha, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, a bunch of people died. The, the other video, the, 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 this is... This is one of them. There, there's another video where I seen where it's the same thing, but they, uh, it was a more high quality drone, and they were like mm-hmm. going in close, and you could see like all the like all the shit on the racks, and like like on the other end over there is all the semi trailers, and they're all piled up on top of each other. It's fucking insane, dude. Yeah. So I saw that, and I was like, okay, that is it. You know, what was weird is I saw a, a picture of like the storm Avenue and it yeah. was right along the fucking eclipse pathway. You know oh, what I'm really? saying? Ugh. I'm just saying, but you know what? That's like the typical storm pathway. Anyway, that's like tornado alley. Mm. You know what I mean? What's up, dude? What's up, dudes? <laughs> What's up? Uh, Dave has made it. Everybody. I made it. Oh my goodness. You're talking about the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Tornadoes. We're talking about all yeah these, it's uh, fucking crazy. Tornadoes, dude. dude. Dude, I got a video. I don't know if you guys on your TikTok? Yeah. Um the guy was talking about the power of a tornado. Oh, this one here? Have you mm. seen this shit? No. What this thing did? I don't know if this is new. I think this you is want new. To see the... Hold on. This is like from... we could use it to to generate power for a city or something? No, dude. Yeah, this is the, just the, the F, massive. This is the F five that was in Nebraska, right? Yeah, dude. This fuck just like what what it's capable of doing. I saw this and I was like, fuck. It took a yeah. fucking semi truck and wrapped it around a tree. Fucking mm-hmm. wrapped it. Dude, check this thing out, man. It's it's like it's incredible. You see dude. the power of a tornado? Look at this right here. This is a tree. <laughs> Not much of a tree. This now. is an eighteen wheeler. Look at this it, thing. Bent. It was an eighteen wheeler. Look at this thing bent around the tree. And oh it is fuck! Twisted all the way around the tree. Oh my god! That's fucking wild, dude. Yeah, that's fucking wild, man. It literally it's bent like a it Twizzler, dude. I would just Jesus. leave it at that point. Just leave it, man. That's a monument. You know what I'm saying? That's like Mount St. Helens <laughs> shit. You just leave that fucker. You put a glass case of emotion around it and just call it good. Dude. Well, dude, and I hate to say this, but like, imagine the bodies that you find in that shit. Yeah, dude. Dude, you well, find probably some warped bodies. The, one of the comments oh, was yeah. power of a tornado, more like power of the tree. <laughs> and that tree is, oh, yeah. Uh, dude, I, 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 we don't have to play it. I saved it. I think I saved a video of this guy who, um, dude, it was kind of, it was heartbreaking a little bit, man. It was like what it's like to be the first out of a tornado. And it shows him, you see if I have it, because it, it was like pretty, dude. This yeah, one? this one right here. Dude, this is sad. This guy mm-hmm. like finds this car. This I'm guessing the person inside is dead, dude, I, I, if I had to guess. But. Okay. They don't show anything, so we don't have to worry about it. But th- this guy is just, like, kind of talking about what's going on, and he's yelling for people, like, anybody need help? And there's, like, nothing. Like, it's dead silent. He's like, I've already ran across multiple bodies. Um, <sighs> just check what he's like. It's sad. Like the lone survivor after oh, a bomb goes off. Dude, think of where your brain's at at this moment in time. But, yeah, listen to what this guy says real quick. We don't have to watch the whole thing, but you'll kind of get the idea. Hello? Hello? I know there's music. God, Hello? Turn it down a little bit, maybe. Look at this fucking dogs just like. Is that lightning still going off or is that like flashing from like electrical pops? I don't know. Shit? I know. That poor dog, dude. That dog's been through some shit. Right here, though, he starts talking. Look at the just devastation behind it, dude. Yeah. Dude, that's what scares me about living in the Midwest. Like, you See, know, I'm, I'm scared help. for you guys sometimes, too. I know it's not as bad down in Nah, I'm not worried about it here, but fuck, man. Some of these areas are... It's been almost an hour now since the tornado. at 6.45. The tornado's ripped through Joplin, southwest side of Joplin. This is a Joplin already, one. I'm covered about... Uh, <laughs> this is horrible. First thing I come up on is... is uh, people that didn't make it. Mm. Yeah, yeah that's dude. crazy. Yeah, man. Dude, well, just like we, walking up, seeing a dog. Well, just, we started because uh, we had one that came through like 45 minutes from here. Yeah. Like through College Station and up into Madisonville. When? Yesterday or the day before. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, because my dad, my dad called called Ash and then she didn't answer because Goo had her phone. Mm. And then he called me. Goo? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? That's her nickname? Yeah. 
And then I was on the thing last night because we had some like high winds. We had fucking tornado warnings last night. I didn't get any. I was on the web- website because we. I was just watching the rain. It was popping up on my phone last night. It was oh. like up until eleven o'clock. Yeah, I'm Chris, not. You got to give Dave that app, dude. I just got the <laughs> fucking normal shit. I and, just uh, said, uh, and the he, normal and he, shit doesn't work. He, well, and it went straight to voicemail because Goo had her phone, and then oh. he called me, and I didn't answer because I was driving, working. Oh no! And then so he's, he's like, like, he's like, oh, he's like, fuck. Cause he's like from, and then he called Ash again, and then he finally got a hold of her, and she's uh, like, "Oh, he's like, we're good." Chris, I'm driving on my way to Texas right now. <laughs> must not have been that like, bad, dude. It must have been he, a small one. Or he something. was like, "Fuck, I thought, I thought for sure you guys were, were getting it. Like from what I was watching, it was going right over the top of you guys." Dude, I was watching oh, yeah, yeah. from like six o'clock until ten o'clock, and I was watching the 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 you know the rain and the the storm patterns and stuff. And I, I saw nothing, dude. There was a blurp up north a little bit, but yeah. I, we just had cool lightning and no sound like it was all it was like just yeah, cloudy there wasn't a bunch of rumbling, flashing yeah. light all night oh. long but there was no thunder i just it was pretty, it was here, pretty I, I got that video i was talking about greg about the, okay. the the our quality one here do you guys usually just get flashes and no thunder because no, no, we, get, no, get we get a roar we get a lot no, we of get we get a lot too. of thunder uh this one was just okay. a kind of like a weird one where there just really wasn't any sound. You know, it's kind yeah. of it's kind of cool. This though. is the 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 other video of the Dollar General. Oh yeah, I heard this one. That's the Dollar Tree, bro. Dollar Tree or Dollar Tree? Sorry, the warehouse in Marietta. Oh yeah, 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 dude. Weather modification, dude. Yeah. It's that fucking deep fucking state doing this so shit to gnarly. us. I'm just kidding. Yeah, Swift. Well. What? No way. I like the comments like, doesn't Swift normally park like that? Yeah. <laughs> I think they do, actually. It fucking just tossed and like ripped everything, dude. And it gets down to the other end over here and like these it's huge. It's kind of cool because you get to see how these buildings are built, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. Well, over here, you can see when it gets over here, I think it's the next part or whatever. There's like the thick fucking I-beams and they're just ripped and fucking bent and fucking. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's a lot of goods that are in the shitter. That's for sure. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, think about the economy and like yeah. the blast that this did do with the economy. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you know what? We have this it? shit every year, man. You know, like it's just kind of. Yeah. I I think there is obviously hits. You know, this is like Dollar Tree's got to be a big one, but I mean, we have them every year. We have major. I that's what mm-hmm. I don't understand is why do they put these major warehouses in Oklahoma and <laughs> exactly. fucking in Ohio? Like maybe. If you know, because with the belt, they might get a shit ton of insurance money. Dude. Yeah, well, like yeah, well still, yeah, all that. the CEOs are just fuck. I hope one hits, dude. I don't know, yeah. man. <laughs> I think that insurance. Yeah, a lot of those. I'm sure they do have insurance. But I'm saying, if well, you're in that, actually, what's up? Uh, going on that, <clears throat> the land is probably dirt cheap, or at least like the taxes. Like you oh, know, sure. you, they're probably like, Maybe. hey, yeah. we'll give you incentives to come here because no one wants to do business here because they're afraid of the tornado. Not Maybe. insurance though. No, not, not insurance. Not insurance. Because I mean, even when we were looking at uh, River Plantation, we were looking at buying homes in River Plantation. Mm-hmm. That, it's a flood area. And at the time, we we didn't realize that it was a flood area. We just were like, this is fucking rad. We love this place. But it floods. And like, you can't get insurance in there. Mm-hmm. Like, you can, mm-hmm. but a lot of, because it floods so much, they basically said like, this is the last time we will give insurance out. So that's why the homes, you can't really get them because they won't insure it. And I have to imagine mm-hmm. that these places that get bombed constantly by tornadoes are probably under the same context where they're like, we're not going to keep insurance. Or they're you. paying out the ass for it. They're paying out the ass. Yeah. Probably. Well, did, why wouldn't they, uh, you know, have little musky must come over there with the boring and they just go underneath the ground. Yeah, that's, that's always possible. That's true. Yeah. You know, have a warehouse underneath the ground and tornado land. Like there's all these like yeah. rumors and, and, and not necessarily conspiracies because it's kind of been proven that the the dumbs are exist, right? The deep underground military bases. Sure. Like if they can build that kind of shit, like why why aren't they using that technology to do that to like create an under structure? Yeah. Well, like an yeah. under like well, an in under, these areas in, specifically, like an under infrastructure. I mean, honestly, like when you look at that warehouse, we just you're, what you're looking at is a pole building basically, and, and like it has sheet metal on the outside. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. It's a warehouse. That shit's not going to hold up. No. Like it, it no, almost should never. be like if you build it's like a, like a sale. heavy building, right? If you're like forced to like, hey, if you're going to build a warehouse, it has to be like a brick fucking, you know, like actually well done, this actually full sturdy, concrete has to fucking. meet a certain expectation of wind speeds. Like you could do that. You know, you could do yeah. that. It would cost a lot more money, but you wouldn't have this. 
Well, you could mm-hmm. probably do it cheaper with that what they're doing now with like the concrete and three D printing. Maybe, but those are huge Ooh. buildings. That's the one thing about those. These are such. You ever seen buildings. that shit, Greg? No, they're, I haven't seen the concrete. They're, yet. they're using like concrete and doing like three D printed houses with it. It's weird though. Whoa. It just like jizzes on that, itself that over and over again. Weird. Yeah, it yeah. just it just kind of like goes around the foundation, just goes. Yeah, it spits out a fucking and just brrr. makes like brrr, it's like makes a, the foundation two and just, inches and every just time keeps it goes going around. up and up and up and then it fucking there's the house. I feel like that's not good though. I got to be honest. Is with that you, I how feel like, like it's not good? I don't know. That's how Elon Musk gets an erection. He is he has yeah. to three D print it every time. <laughs> yep. Yep. Maybe. Well, I know he doesn't. He doesn't like jizz and well. This is this is kind of gross. I think he does. Yeah. I'm well. All of his kids are artificial insemination. Or at least there's like a surrogate or it's done. Are uh, they? Are you sure? Yeah. He has, he does. None of his kids are born like the old nat- fashion way. You know what I mean? It's how do you he's know alien, that? bro. How do you, how do you, how do you know that? Do you talk about that? I've, I've looked it up. I've done research on him. I did a whole show on him. And that's one thing that I looked for. And I was like, I have to know the answer to this. Like, because <laughs> like, I even went down to like the first kid because I was like, OK, so it's, this article is only talking about the last kids. But I want to know about the first son. You and know? they and they was that one. They said that they were all fucking test tube babies. Yeah. Is he a unit? Yeah. Who's- it's either like test tube or like a uh, surrogate. You know what I mean? Who said that? So though? someone else. He hasn't, though. Right. Like he hasn't come out and said that. Right. I don't know if he has or not, but like, how would all of these, I mean, articles know about his life and these babies? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I, the only thing is, is like, first of all, the guy's fucking filthy rich, bro. Oh yeah. And we have seen uglier human beings that are filthy rich get laid by pretty good looking women. True. There is no way that man's not getting some poon. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, he is. Maybe he just, I don't, that's what I'm saying. Like I I would have a hard, that would be like. Weird. Maybe his me. maybe his brain power requires so much blood flow that he his dick just doesn't work. Dude, you know work? what it is? <laughs> I bet you I know what it is. He wants to pick out the best sperm that he has. Oh. So he has to go so through he artificially a doctor. inseminates by himself. He doesn't even go to a doctor. He just goes exactly. in and picks it all out himself. Mm. He's, like, yeah, he's like, this is the genius. Hold on, baby. Let me find the appropriate <laughs> seed and I will put it in you. Uh, maybe. I, don't I, don't, know. I just find it weird accent. that like I know he's uh, talked and made reference to having multiple kids. I've I've heard him talking about his kids and stuff. I find it weird he has that a shitload of kids. He hasn't. I don't know. I just I don't find it weird that he would have sex a lot. I really don't. Like why wouldn't he? It's just weird. He doesn't have time, dude. Oh, it's just, shit, like, it's a, I'm doing? not saying I'm not saying you're like wrong or anything, man. Or, or the people are wrong. I'm just saying like it's a weird thing to say like yeah, The Rock, all his kids are fake. You know, they're all fucking test tube. And like, there's no proof of it. It's just like a weird, like, no, bro. I dude, thought, it, there is about? proof of it. You just have to look it up, dude. It's From out there. where? CNN? The truth is out there. MSNBC. I, I don't know. Do I can imagine right now. I can imagine like if he was asked, actually asked that question, he'd answer like if he was the 40 year old virgin guy. Uh, like, no, well, man. No, I, I fuck. I fuck. So hard. Like, and long. Oh, this is for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> She's uh, He's like trying to. What, what's her like, purpose? Feel like sandbags. Fucking sandbags. Yeah, right, like, so, okay, you know when here. you're. Well, you know when you're. You know when you're. You're fucking, and it just. It sounds like a. Like a wet noodle. Mm. And everyone just. Yeah, like, dude. What? Yeah, and that's, how you, know. that's, that's how you know. That's what. That's how you know how he describes Oops. it is how yeah. you would know if you did or not. Yeah, but he's smart. All right, <laughs> I have to send you this because Dave is questioning. Uh, well, I'm curious where who's saying. So I'm going to send all. you the link. Chris, who said it? And uh, Chris, you open it up. Okay. This better not be some fucking, like, what is it? Link. Forbes. Forbes. Okay. Yeah. How about that, Dave? How about that? Elon Musk and other billionaires. Says Elon Musk babies were conceived via IVF and surrogacy. Is it the future of reproduction? Musk family engineering. What is IVF? In vitro fertilization. Oh, scroll okay. down that means in a petri scroll dish. Uh, this is interesting to me. I just want to see where it so- talks about him. Elon Musk took an engineer approach to reproduction. His first five boys came in the world via IVF. Mm-hmm. Welcome, son. First Not five. How many does he have? A I lot, fuck, dude. Like 10 or something. Really? He has a shitload of kids. That's a yes. weird thing, man. I mean, I, listen, Forbes <laughs> is fairly, uh, I, you know, I, I'll, I'll trust this. Well, I mean, he like we've talked about before. <laughs> okay. he, Why doesn't he bring up though? That, that was my question. That, that's all I'm saying. I, I'm not. Listen, great. Forbes said it, but I'm saying, why hasn't he discussed this? The guy has not 
shied away from discussing weird and interesting new revolutions. Like, why has he not talked about this? I don't think anybody's just brought it up. You know what I mean? Because it's not like... I mean, there's so many things to talk about with Elon. I get you. You don't really go to this. You but know like, what I mean? fuck, man. This would be interesting to me. Like, Joe Rogan's talked to him a couple times. You know what I'm saying? He's been oh, on some, yeah. like, real long platform stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I can, Really? I bet. Yeah. If I hmm. if that was Joe Rogan, I would be like, so hold on, man. You don't fuck? Do you fuck? Or you just do not make kids? I wonder if that's, like, in the prenup, dude. Like, listen, we're not. my dick will not be <laughs> uh, ever. Because, honestly... <laughs> Have you ever heard him talking about getting pussy and be like, dude, I was with well, this one no. chick back in the day, dude? No, oh. but I. No, they, he's never gone down that road. No, but a lot of those rich, rich guys aren't talking about how much. I mean, some of them are, but not all of them. I mean, Trump. Well, Trump, though. But even Trump. You know, he, he had that one grab by the pussy, but you haven't really heard about the other ones. You know what I'm saying? As much. Well, he's not yeah, just talking maybe. about bathing in puss. You know what I mean? It's true. He's yeah. not. He's not. He, but you know, he was at one point. Well, so here's what's weird, though, is like Tony Stark mm-hmm. was modeled after Elon Musk. And Tony Stark's like total playboy, right? Mm-hmm. In the Tony Avengers Stark movies and stuff. Was mo- the new Tony Stark was modeled after Elon? Iron Man. Well, Iron Man's been around you, since the 40s, bro. Like it wasn't like, around you know, like uh, freaking what's his name? I guess new. I don't know how new you're talking about, but like, oh, like the movies. Uh, Downey Jr., whatever the fuck that guy's name is. Mm-hmm. Like, right? he built his character around Elon Musk. Yeah. And Elon Musk even made a cameo in Iron Man 2. Oh, yeah. He and did. it's like a whole thing. Like, he tried to model his whole, like, repertoire off of Elon Musk. Robert yeah. Downey Jr. Yeah. Like, his, his acting style for that role. That's what he was going yeah. off of. Yeah. I get hmm. you. I was going to say, the comic book has been around a long time, and that premise is not new. You know what I'm saying? Like, the wealthy man who's engineering things. Like, that's the... It's always been... I no, get, I, you're I think you're saying, saying his, more is like his, his uh, acting style. His, his acting, it. his mannerisms, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like... Why wouldn't you? That's perfect. The guy's a billionaire. You know what I mean? And all techie well, and shit. I mean, Elon Musk does not have the most Tony Spark kind of attitude. You know what I mean? No, like, no, Tony Spark... Stark? Tony Stark, Stark yeah, yeah. is very, like, out there... Very like talkative, very like, hey, yeah. hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, let's make this happen. Come on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and Elon Musk is very introvert. You know, yeah. Maybe so he's I, just, don't, I don't know. It's just weird. The suits and shit and the fucking, you know what I mean? Like he is techie. So I mean, yeah. They obviously he didn't do it exactly like him because he would have been like silent a lot of the movie. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It would like long pauses long between each thought line. Processes. Thanos is like, I'm gonna take you down. He's like. Hmm. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. Yeah, he's planning Pulse, out the whole scenes. the whole next fight scene. He's, mm. yeah, I'm gonna get my flamethrower for this one. Uh, yeah, right. uh, I don't think oh. so. Yeah, I think it's yeah, that's that's, it's not a flame that's cool, man. That makes sense why he would do that. I thought you when you first said I thought you were saying the premise of uh, like Tony Stark was based off. I'm like, well, no, that's been around forever. But I get what you're saying for the acting role. That makes sense. That's cool though. I forgot he had a cameo yeah. in that too. That was that was weird. He's like, Who did? hello, Iron Man. I am Elon. you. Mm. You are me. How long, how long before Elon makes like a, a, a suit like that? Like he's already doing brain chips. Maybe he's making the brain chip. So then you can be integrated into your suit later. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Whoa, dude. May, I'm sure he already has suits and shit like that. You why know what I mean? Yeah. Why? The, if I had that much money, I would have a suit for sure. First of all, if for I sure. was Elon Musk and I'm. And Tony Stark's character is being based off my mannerisms. Mm. I'm building a fucking suit for myself. Maybe priorities. You know, maybe that's what it is. Because if, if first of all, if I'm Elon Musk, I'm fucking. Like, that's that's <laughs> step one. I'm not having surrogate babies. I'm, I'm actually going to have sex because I deserve it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how I, that's I how deserve I it. Well, yeah. You work hard. You, you know, get your rocks off. Fucking random person. Have at it, dude. You know what I mean? Like, you worked hard. Why Dude, not? I actually, I just saw this. This is CBS News. Is Elon Musk working on an Iron Man flying suit? Mm. This Ooh. was back, when was this? This was 2016, dude. Oh, so Hold he on. has one, for sure. Yeah, dude, this was like, like a long ass time ago. Yeah, if, he, if um, people knew that, uh, that he was like, had the ideas or was working on one, he built one, for sure. He just hasn't, he hasn't showed it off. Yeah. It's just like one of his and basement then, toys. That's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then it's here's one of his sex toys. <laughs> this was uh, from 2020. That's what it is, oh, bro. Sex toy? It's not. It's not artificial. <laughs> it is kind of artificial ins- yeah. insemination. Yeah, he has a robot. He's just on the robot that he's just fucks in the his. Women. The he's robot. In his fucking, yeah, the robot. Yeah, dude. he's in his Iron Man suit. Fucking yeah, instead. man. 
So he's like, I'm horny, baby. And he's like, let me get uh, Elon, too. Over he here. just stands up and goes like this. And, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he's <laughs> ready to go. Yeah. Hey, why not, dude? Uh, what would his sex robot name be? Just Musk? Dude, just I don't like, know. Look what he names his kids. He wants some Musk? Could be anything, bro. Z. Fucking double D. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Just a random letter, a fucking yeah, who knows? pie, dude. It's gonna be the, the fucking, you know. He's a weird dude, man. He's a weird cat. Well, so here's a this was what futurism.com in 2021. Elon Musk meets with the creator of Iron Man style suit at mm -hmm. SpaceX launch site. So apparently, this guy created an Iron Man style suit. Yeah. Ooh, it's on oh. X. Hold on, let me uh, let me bookmark this so you guys can see this. This looks nothing like Iron Man. No. I no. guess like the you remember the first Iron Man, Tony Stark's caught in that cave. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Comes out in that janky. <laughs> it kind of looks like that. Okay. <laughs> Look so at this shit. What, what the fuck, dude? That's, that's <laughs> Iron Man style. This is it. Who who did this? Some guy? This is some bad cosplay, bro. <laughs> this was um oh boy, who was this? Yeah, that's not good. That's not a good setup. <laughs> you ain't scared. They're calling like, it this, an Iron Man style suit. Dude. This that looks, looks like someone like. from medieval times tried to make exactly a fake yeah. fucking jousting armor. Yeah, some guy from the fucking medieval era. Everybody's like, he's ahead of his time, bro. <laughs> he's real ahead of his time. I am Iron Man. Tis cometh your way. I, you know, like you shall cool. not defeat me and knock me off my horse. I'll dude, say the guy's this. name was Dylan Lang Edmonston. Okay. Sounds like a, a knight. Dude, I'll say it? this, man. I, I'm not going to rip it up. Like, you know, I'm not going to create a suit like that. I don't know. It's the way that they took a picture of it. It's all jumbled in a bowl. <laughs> like, maybe it's impressive. I, I, you yeah. know, like, that's a lot of work. But I could see the whole Iron Man suit, like, not really Iron Man style. But I could see them mimicking that for future, like, space travel or some shit. Yeah, like, I was just kind of thinking that. What if the, astronauts are what if the SpaceX astronaut yeah. suits are going to be, like, Iron Man I suits? I can see that, where it's, like, real streamlined, uh, yeah, heavy it's duty. Yeah, and you can fucking, you have your own yeah. fucking pr propulsion. You yeah. Can, once you get out of the fucking rocket, you can just sure somewhere. I can oh, see them yeah. modeling something after that eventually. I can see that. That would be sick. Yeah, it, it, yeah, I don't know if it'd be comfortable, but it would be because those things are bulky. The, the modern, relatively modern suits, even the seventies, eighties, like yeah, they're, they're just bulky. Fucking, they looks. don't have. Why do they have to be? They don't have to. Well, I don't. I don't know. I apparently, I don't know, man. There's a lot like oxygen and shit that's going there, and like there's cooling systems apparently, you know, that are in there. I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe it just helps the airflow. I have no idea. Cooling systems. Yeah. For what? I don't know. It keeps you're gonna get yeah. all don't, sweaty. In don't there, people dude? get all fucking frozen if they are in outer space without a suit? No, but it's it's hot in the suit because it's all sealed. It's per, like fully sealed, so they have like kind of an air vent system that kind of blows cold air in there, kind of keeps it cool inside there. So you're not, you know. Yeah, I mean, you've seen uh, Ace Ventura gets hot in these rhinos. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They're hot in these rhino hoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is, that is one of the funniest fucking scenes <laughs> of all time is when he's coming out of that butthole and it's, yeah. I, you know, rewatching it with my kids Reese, you know, within the past couple of years, I'm just like, it's so stupid, but it, God damn it. It was funny as shit. Oh, it's still, and the is, family's dude. watching him like, mom, who's that? Mom, it's, it's giving like, birth. When, yeah. he's, when he starts poking his face out and he's just like, and it's stretching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like it's yeah. funny because he comes out nude. It's like yeah. he had to take off all his clothes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> he just well, it's because he got so hot before he actually tried to escape. Jesus. Exactly. Man. So he's sweaty. It yeah, because like fucking... there there was that scene where he, before he tries to open the fucking he's like <laughs> Yeah. And it's fucking stuck. And he fucking rips off his underwear and he goes <laughs> yeah. on the floor. It's, flat. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Yummy. That's a good, That's God. A good God. That fucking movie, man. <sighs> they just don't have a lot of comedies like that anymore. Unfortunately, man, they kind of lost the plot a while back. I think, you know, they did like yeah. slapstick dude. comedy is really just not around anymore. Dude, uh, something else that has kind of gone viral over the weekend was this, this older man nibbling on this kid's ear. Oh did you see God, this video? Dude. I saw that. Yeah. When it came out, I was like, I saved some shit on it. Fucking nasty, dude. What the fuck? Well, man? so I don't know, like. Maybe we shouldn't like report the name, but it's, it's, apparently they found a name of this guy. They went to his Facebook page. Yeah. His Facebook page got deleted. Mm -hmm. So like he's trying to hide something. Of course. And like there's this Matt Wallace guy on Twitter who I don't give a fuck about. Like this guy is like not trustworthy at all to me. So 
he's saying like, oh, we have all this stuff. We took screenshots of his Facebook page and yeah. there's like rocks that look like penises and, you know, all this like mm. he was just obsessed with like penis pictures. And well, I mean, so I don't know. So he's yeah. from the movie Superbad. Apparently. Mm. No, I don't know. <laughs> I like how this this is a uh, the right now views. It says this is not confirmed yet confirmed. <laughs> okay. Right. And then it's so said, like, I like the race, either Jewish or white. <laughs> like, but go, okay. Go to the, uh, the video thing. Go to the Robbie Harvey tweet oh. that I saved because that shows uh, his face. And all you have to do is just show the picture. You don't have to show like the words because it. I oh, know. I was going to play the video of the guy. Oh, yeah. On the air. Yeah. Play the video first because that's. It's really fucked up. So this is at a, a snooker world championship. Snooker? Okay, I didn't even know where the hell this was. It's in Britain, I believe, is or something around there. But it's like a, it's a, it's a sport, and uh, this dude speaking, I guess, is a former champion or oh, okay. something like that. Okay. I'm trying to get a little backstory. I don't even know what snooker is, to be honest with you. But this is on live TV. He whispers, bites his ear, dude, and the kid's like, "Hey," and he gets caught. But he, like this, this cuts it off short. The the dude yeah. who sucked on that kid's ear Start starts smiling. waving like, "Oh hey!" Yeah. Well, he knows the camera's on him. He like he bites his ear, dude. Like what the? That's fucked up, dude. They have. To I heard know that there was like other. an investigation into this too. Yeah, they they supposedly were looking into it. Yeah, they have to know each other. There has to be like his kid or something. Oh, it is. It's somebody That's like his... it's somebody. Affiliated. Yeah, because if you if you did that to just some random kid. He's not going to let you do that. No, the, the one thing people were talking about was that the kid didn't seem that bothered by it. Yeah, like it's exactly. like that's what like Greg said knew. earlier before the show started. It's like yeah. almost like he is used to it or it happens all the time. It kind of uh, probably is, dude. He's probably molested all the time by this guy. Well, I, I'm wondering. Um, I don't know, man. I, you know, I, I, who was it? What was that guy's name? Uh, Jan, Jan Anopoulos. What was that guy's name? That gay. Oh, Milo. Milo. And when, you remember he got kind of really criti criticized and kind of went down because he was talking about when he was a gay teenager, you know, mid teens, that uh, sometimes getting with older men was kind of the way for him to like, you know, figure this all out. And it wasn't that uncommon for teenage gay men, boys, I mm -hmm. guess I should say, to be with older men. And so like I see something like this and it just, you know, I'm like, OK, well. The kid didn't seem like he was that uh, bothersome by the whole thing. Like, I would be like, what the fuck? Are you you know what I mean? Like, every normal person would just be like, fuck off me, Bill. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Yeah. Uh, this kid just smiled. Like, you know, he got bit on the ear, didn't finch about the thing. And then the camera, he noticed the camera. He's like, hey, you know. Yeah, almost like weird. almost like he when he whispered to him, he almost like told him, hey, I'm going to do this. He's like. And then he turned his yeah. head a little bit. But why would you do that in public? I don't know. Like, dude, that's a great question. That's the right question. behind the where the guys can't like the cameras facing you. you know yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, that is the best question. Like you're going to do that at a Trump rally or something. You know what I mean? It's really gross. I mean, it's, it's just really weird. gross. But I, unfortunately, I, who, I don't know the situation. And I and to your point, Greg, you can't just trust any of these people that are here about who this is and what he is and all this stuff. But I, it's one thing. I mean, he's obviously like doing something with this kid. I mean, that's pretty clear that they have some kind of a relationship or. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know, or maybe they're, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe they're a gay couple, and the, that's I don't know. It's really gross. I hope they find. Well, them. I mean, that's a little boy, so it's a boy. It's, no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm not saying it's no. I'm not saying it's right. It's absolutely wrong. I'm just saying it, the kid didn't seem like he cared, and that that it weirds me out that he didn't seem that he cared. Because I feel yeah. like I've you remember that video of uh who's Aquaman? What's that guy's name, man? Aquaman? Mimosa or what was it? What's oh, his name? Oh yeah, Mimosa. Jason Momoa. J Momoa. Mimosa. Mimosa. Jason Momoa. Mimosa. Mimosa. <laughs> there was that video that was circulating a lot with the whole Hollywood thing, um, where he was with his kids. Oh yeah. And he was like he had his hand on their like chest, you know, kind of area, and like the daughter like grabbed his hand and moved it. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm not I'm not saying one thing or another about that, but I'm saying that's a that's a reaction of a kid who's uncomfortable with something that's happening. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. even with the father's daughter, yeah, she grabbed his hand and kind of like moved it to the side. Um, that kid seemed like it's normal, completely normal. And uh, I'm not saying that he's not abused because sometimes what's that captive situation? Oh, Stockholm uh, syndrome. Yeah, you know where 
yeah. you know, he's being abused and he just is comfortable, not comfortable, but doesn't reali- doesn't it doesn't realize to the anymore. point where it's not abuse to him anymore. But either way, they need to find this guy. Cause I, I feel like if you're willing to do that in public, what are you doing outside? You know what I'm saying? Like exactly, outside of the you know, camera. Well, this was so like South Yorkshire is, did this happen over in like Britain or something? England. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I said it was in England. Oh, okay. It was okay. at a soccer game, or which something, is why right? when I saw your thing and the guys like from Italy, I, you know, maybe, you know, it's not that far, I guess, but mm-hmm. it's in England. So, who hmm. knows? and that picture, I don't know the the face that the, I mean, it kind of looks like him, but they, you can see that one side's like, on they digitally the, enhanced it. Well, like, look at the nose on him on the right side is very left. I don't know which one's which dude, but yeah, it kind of looks like him, I guess, but come on, man. Look at that white. That's a white guy. Like you could probably find a fucking hundred of those dudes around Europe and fucking yep. here. Dude, so, it looks almost like James Elephantis yeah. comet ping pong, dude. No. Oh yeah, a little yeah. bit, huh? Doesn't it kind of look like him? That hope, top left picture does. I hope they find him. Uh, you know, because I think that um, minimum this should be investigated and looked at. Make sure the kid is safe. You know, what I'm saying take. You know, because yeah, uh, I hate to say it, sometimes well, they're saying they're saying that the police are investigating it now. So, yeah. well, we'll, no see. one knows. No one knows anything about him. No one knows no. who they are. No one knows how old that kid is. You know, what I'm saying like. There's yeah. that one guy, like, I'm just, I'm just using as an example. He looks probably 12. Yeah, but you say yeah. that. But I'm saying Ish. there's a kid on that went on uh, Kill Tony the other day or a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. I seen Clint And the kid's there. like 24, and he looks like he's fucking 13, dude. Yeah. I, I, what I'm saying mm-hmm. is this, we can't really, until they find who this is and who this boy is, like, we don't know how old he is. We don't know. He could be 20. He could be 19. We don't know. Well. There were other little kids around the same age, younger too, in the crowd as well. Mm-hmm. So it just makes me but think that this was like event. a kids. No, it's oh. a sporting event, man. Like there's kids at baseball mm-hmm. games. There's kids at football games. Like that, sure. that's not a precursor, I don't think, of figuring out who. But we just need to know. that They need to find out and then tell the people. Actually, the kid's 19 and they're in a relationship. You know, mm-hmm. nothing to worry about. Say that and everybody's like, fine. Good, good job. Thank you for looking into it. We want to make sure he's safe. But is yeah. he 12? Is he 14? <laughs> But to do, but yeah, just to do that and like, it's weird. It's right creepy. in fucking public around people. It's so creepy. I mean, it's one thing to like give your significant other like a, a kiss or something, but like being right in the middle of a huge group of people and just be like <laughs> nibbling ears and shit. Yeah, that's... You might as well start titty twisting your wife. You know? <laughs> yeah. And it's like they weren't even blocked by anybody. It was no. just like yeah, they're right wide, open view, right in your camera, face. straight on you. You know what I mean? Well, you know, I'll say this, like uh, maybe they didn't know because uh, I know like when I went to the Blazers games, they did like the uh, halftime show, you know, with uh, the dudes. I can't remember their names, but they had the the stage at the arena Mm -hmm. and uh, you would go and stand around there and like on TV, you could see yourself on there sometimes, you know. Oh, yeah. But it just depends on what camera they're using, what angle they're doing, because in some shots you're not there and you're right beside them, but you're you're not seen. Mm -hmm. Uh, But either way. Like the dude did it right in public. Like there were people all around, and he had no exactly. issue fucking nibbling an ear of a kid. Yeah, uh, probably. I, did they? Did anybody next to them go like, "Whoa"? What? I didn't see anybody. I didn't see anybody move an inch or no even, even like, notice. No one gave a stink eye. Nothing, bro. It was weird, man. Right? It's like, is this AI or something? I don't know. What no the, the the whole thing? Well, it's just like you would expect somebody to notice and be like, "Dude, like, hey, hey." Chris, look at this. Guy. Well, I mean, if he did it, like if it was like an ongoing thing where he just kept doing it, I could see someone yeah. noticing. But if it that was like that was pretty quick. It wasn't mm. like he he just did it and then like all of a sudden it was a quick lick. Like, Whoa, quick it was lick. a quick lick. Yeah, man. Quick lick. <laughs> How many licks does it take to get to the center of a twelve year old boy? Oh, oh god. That's the old blow pop thing. <laughs> we don't want to know. That's fucking we don't want to know. No, I I'll say mm. this. Because it was a sporting thing, because there were people talking on the stage and that's what people were there watching. Yeah, I'm they, they weren't paying attention. They were though. watching the people that were having discussions on stage. And, For sure. and if we were all there, more than likely, I'd say highly likely, we'd have never seen that. We would have never seen yeah. it. Now the person behind him who's got a shot right of him and he's leaning over this kid and like, Oh yeah. Making these like, I'm mm-hmm. sure someone's like, Whoa. Yeah. Cause I'm sure he said something like, mm. Oh, I can't wait to get you home later, boy. You know, something like <laughs> I that. know, right? Yeah. He's got to say something, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. dude, another thing that I have a video of, I thought was fucking crazy. was this, um, this train derailment explosion. Did you see this shit? Mm-mm. Dude, check Mm-mm. this out, man. It's Did a, not. uh, it's a dash cam from a semi truck and it apparently was in Arizona, New Mexico. And it was uh, on I-40. And so this, this semi-truck. Wait, in Arizona or New Mexico? Arizona, it's like, 
I forty runs Arizona and New Mexico. Oh, okay. Uh, and I don't know where this. I haven't even looked this up, but um, it, somebody commented, "Geez, I actually felt the heat." Because yeah, this video is crazy. This guy's in a semi truck. He's driving down the street. You can see the train coming. You know, it's coming towards him on the right side. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's like close call, man. It's a pretty pretty heated explosion here. So check this out, man. It's fucking wild. It takes like thirty seconds. So there's a train. You can see the train going by the front of it. And if you look up to the right, you'll start seeing smoke. That's where the train's derailing right oh, now. Right you here. see that uh -oh. smoke? Okay. You see all the fucking oh, yep. dirt? You see like the dust coming up? And watch this right so here. He's dude. like slowing down a little bit. Yeah, he's or? like, he's like, whoa, what the fuck's going on? And then you see, you see a plume right here. The initial plume right here. Boosh. Now watch this oh, fucking yeah. explosion. Watch this. Oh. Boom. Oh, and he fucking's shit. like, shit, what the fuck? The whole wow. fucking train exploded, man. Oh my Down the God. middle of fucking butt fuck too, dude. Yeah, it says it burned Dang. the awning off his camper. He was telling. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, dude. You I don't mean, want to be out in butt fuck with that happening. No, dude. <laughs> yeah. Butt fucking with flames, man. Dang, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, other stuff that's happening are like all of these protests at the uh, colleges. Oh yeah, that. Yeah. Kind of uh oh, you my, good? Voice, my, voice got, <laughs> my voice got real weird there. I thought you were, like, swallowing I thought a frog. You were fucking Elon for a second, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Take a second. Come on, Joe. I just all of a sudden Joe was like, <laughs> Anyway, that shit got pretty gnarly. Yeah. It's the protest? The, the protest, yeah. Well, it's still happening right now. Well, it happened in Austin. Yeah. They, and then they the there was national. something happening like tonight. Uh, just like like Virginia, yeah, Virginia, Virginia Commonwealth area. University in Richmond. Yeah, there says there this video that says they're using tear gas to re retake the library. Yeah, good for them. Good for them. I mean, yeah. Well, and then there was an article that just came out in the New York Post over the weekend saying that George Soros was caught paying for it. Yeah. So it's just like you don't find that ironic. Remember 2020, or in like uh, oh, yeah, right. George Floyd riots. Yeah. He was paying for all of those riots, and yeah. now he's paying for all of these riots. This one's an mm. extra odd, though, because you have a Jewish man who's paying for Palestinian supporters to attack right? Jewish people. Very well, I mean, just because he's Jew I mean, mm -hmm. there was that video of George Soros saying that, like, he worked with the Nazis mm -hmm. and he helped capture mm -hmm. Jews, dude. Well, yeah, there's the also a video of him saying he thinks he's a god. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but he yeah, that he, might, yeah, I'll go ahead. He, he was in an interview a long. I don't remember when it was. Like I seen a very short clip of it. I think it was an old video. Talked about Joe Rogan, but uh, that he was like had these like supremist thoughts as a, even as a child that he had to suppress growing up to like be well, normal around people because he always he he has always thought he is like bigger yeah. than life to everyone. He's not one of the peasants that yeah. are walking this earth. Mm. <laughs> and, and my point about him being Jewish is not, not saying that he's a good Jewish person. I'm saying that he clearly, like, why even call yourself Jewish? You know what I'm saying? If that's the case. Because you're not. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're not Jewish at that point. If you're helping the Nazis and you're paying for Palestinian protesters, whatever side you're on, I don't really care if you're into the Palestinian thing or you're Jewish and you're against it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, man. It's just, like, he's 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 evil. He's a, I he's think a corruptor. It's a, I think it's a bigger picture than that. I don't think it's a, I'm on this side versus this side. I think it's like, yeah. I can cause a conflict here that will accomplish something else I want done over here. I, I know, I understand that. But if you're a Christian and you are paying, you know what I'm saying? If you label yourself exactly, a Christian yeah. and you're paying for somebody who's like anti-Christian to, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're paying for fucking devil worshipers to protest. You know what I'm saying? It's, mm -hmm. Are you a Christian at that point? No, you're not. You're not. Well, it's because almost you like, would never do that. You know what I mean? You're funding both sides of the war. You know what yeah, I mean? Like exactly. it's you want the conflict to happen because in the in the end, maybe this will help. Yeah, I don't know. It'll help somebody better or more. Well, I mean, if you are if you are someone group. that's doing that, especially like someone of his his level, he's got to he's got to take on some kind of form or presence to say what he is or what he stands for. Sure. Otherwise, like. Mm -hmm. No, what are you talking about? I would never do that. I'm Jewish. Yeah. But isn't it weird, though? I mean, like, doesn't it seem too obvious, like, the whole George Soros scapegoat? Like, oh, it's George Soros. Let's point our fingers at yeah. him and do nothing about it. Like, yeah. what can you do? He is funding these students, you right? Can't, you can't like, do anything about it. 
you can't. So, he, he like he has the right to fund what he wants to fund, bro. Uh, yeah. And like we can call him out, and, and we have, and you've called him out, and I think everybody's called him out at some point. But like you know, there's a point where you're so rich, and the, whoever sees he's not very in public. Is a guy even real? Like seriously, like you ever really ever see him just out? No, no, no. <laughs> he's a hologram at this point, dude. He's more like George Snoros. Yeah, sleeping you know, all day. Fucking AI George. You know what I mean? Like he's he's fake. Yeah. Uh, but. Yeah, I, listen, I the, the this is it's an election year. Of course, we're seeing this like it, this is not surprising at all that we're seeing it. Yeah. There um, was even uh, there was even pictures of uh, I guess there were snipers on the roof. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Of yeah. Like of like just in case some like some crazy shit went down. There was like yeah. snipers everywhere. Like, well, who, I'm, what the, yeah. So I does mean, that mean get that anywhere? If there's snipers on the roof and you're like, hey, is there something in case, case something goes down? Mm-hmm. Is that insinuating that they're expecting something big to happen at some like big function like this. No, I just think, I think he, so. Like yeah, not, think, not just like an, a protest getting out of control, but are they expecting no, I think someone's like, going to get killed? Dude, you, you think yeah, like think some like, kind of uh, attack or something at a, I could see. Area? So like George Floyd happened on May 25th and that was in 2019, mm-hmm. I think going into 2020, right? Maybe it was 2020. I don't know, but it was, I think, in that year going into the election year. I don't know if it was the ex- exact same year of the of the election. So mm-hmm. we're getting close to that May 25th zone. Are they going to try to, you know, pop somebody off and make them a martyr and be like, oh, we got to start this war for this person's name. You know what I mean? Because like I the whole George the, Floyd thing swelled. Yeah, but so see, the, the, the benefit of George Floyd using that one is... There, people sympathize for that. You know, talking about police force, black man, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing. And even like people that everybody feels for that. Like, even though I don't agree with the whole necessary, the whole thing, but like, I like still, race, racial tension, a racial stuff? tension thing. But like, I, yeah. I, I mean, for this one, I don't know how well that works, man. I, I don't feel like the majority of people in this country support the Palestinian thing. Uh, if you right? want my honest opinion. And so if some or Israel, like either side, it's like, what? Well, I don't really care. I mean, uh, I, I mean, just based off of what I hear, like, I think a lot of people support uh, Israel. <laughs> I mean, just what I'm hearing people just talking about it. I yeah. feel more people will openly say they support Israel than they will Palestine uh, I, I, mm-hmm. to each their own. Um, I, I hear people not giving a shit about either side and they go, dude, like, what, what is this even about? Like, well, why are all these kids? Why did these kids care about they don't. like Ukraine? Dude, like they no, don't. They don't. Shit about Most Ukraine. of them don't even know why what they're protesting over. No, they don't. Because no. there's there's multiple. They're getting videos, paid to do it. There's multiple videos out there of going off say, well, "Hey, what are you here? Like, what are you protesting yeah. for at this place?" And most of them don't give a fuck or even know why the fuck they're there. Because they're paid there's like, source. "Hey, there's a bunch of other people here. Let's fuck protest too." Yes. Yeah, they're paid activists. Yeah, I mean, I listen. I agree with that, but I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I do think that some of them can fall into an ideology, and I think there's a lot of that going on too, like where they'll oh, get. Sure. The Are problem into these groups, with you know? this one is, is that uh, it's a, it, this one's very odd and it's and it's a little more complicated than just saying like you can you can have two things at the same time. You can support Palestinian people not being murdered. OK. Mm-hmm. Uh, and killed. And obviously there's casualties of war and innocent people are getting killed. Like we, that's not even debatable. They're innocent people getting killed because Hamas is using them as shields. Uh, it, like, let's be honest. Right. So you can support the Palestinian people and the you know don't want them to die, but at the same time, Hamas has to go down if that's if that's what's going on, right? Like if Hamas is a terrorist group, they're taking over a country, they should all die as well, in my opinion, right? I'm not saying we should do it, you know, we shouldn't be involved per se, but I understand why Israel is saying fuck the shit, like we need to take them all down. Yeah. Uh, the the issue is Hamas is a terrorist organization, and if you have groups of people who are supporting Palestine, quote unquote, but they're really supporting Hamas, right? Like those people could be radicalized because if it was a bunch of people supporting Taliban, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have dug that at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like Mm -hmm. the snipers on the roof, what are the what are Hamas willing to do? What are people that support Hamas willing to do? That's not people like they're not you know the Jewish community and Hamas are very different. Like people that support Israel are not going to just uh you know blow up people with a vest you know necessarily right? Like that's not the mo. Uh, but Hamas would. Yeah. So like, obviously I don't think that there's something necessarily coming down the pipeline per se, but I think they have to be on higher alert than a normal protest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's a terrorist organization. And like these people are blurry on the line between Palestinians and Hamas. There are some people, the Val Victorian of uh, USC, 
the whole thing where they shut down USC's uh, graduation. It's fucked. So what what is the the line between Hamas and Palestine? Well, so it's weird, man. Um, Hamas is is an organization, obviously a terrorist organization. My understanding, but minimal I have, right? Terrorist organization that was able to go in there and kind of just take over. It's not a very big country. Palestine is not very big as a whole compared to other countries. So who funded Hamas? Like who no gave idea. them money and weapons? Iran. Who knows? Obama. Obama. Sure. Oh. Okay. Sure. Well, I mean, Obama funded ISIS, so yeah. I'm just wondering. I mean, no, I you, like, like that's that's the problem is yeah. like America funds these small little groups that. Well, get bigger and then they uh, turn against you. Well, how many United billions States? and billions of dollars do we send over to that area all the fucking time? To and who? Over to the Middle East and, and all and into fucking Israel and to fucking Jerusalem Israel, and to fucking Iran and I, fucking Iraq and all those that whole. I don't everywhere. know how much money is going into Palestine. If you want an honest opinion, I don't know how much money. All that Palestine. that whole area, all that money. Isn't be never gets used for what it actually is supposed to be used for. It's get funneled mm-hmm. into these other fucking subgenres of people, and then they fund things that they want. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I want to stick with well, this. Just though. because where it goes doesn't mean where it's going to eventually lead. Uh, sure, to, you know what I mean. But like, you were saying if it like, lands in Israel, it could go somewhere. Who funded Hamas? I have no idea, and that's a great question. I don't know, but Palestine, obviously, the people of Palestine, at least to some extent, believe that Israel was kind of like controlling Forced them. Upon them. Was controlling them. Right. Which I Mm. I think you could go back and forth about whether that's true or not. Right. Hamas or Palestine. Palestine has attacked Israel multiple times. Right. And multiple times Israel has won, even gave back land to some extent at some points where they had seized land and they gave it back. Whatever the situation is, I'm not saying I'm an expert. I'm not. But I think Hamas saw an excellent opportunity in Palestine that people were struggling. They were not getting out of the, uh, you know, out of, uh, you know, Israel's shadow. And they could come in there and play the whole Nazi thing. Think about what Nazis did, right? How that whole thing propagated. They had a country that was doing well. Then it was not doing well. There was a huge, you know, fucking down in the country of Germany. And then Hitler comes around and he revives this fucking dying country and says, we're going to be the greatest country on earth. And we're going to fucking, and everybody's like, ah, you know, run, run. Well, he took all that power because people really supported him because they wanted him. That's the thing that people were talking about with Donald Trump, right? The country's in a low Donald Trump could be that guy. That's what they were trying to insinuate. And we're going to support Still him so could much. could be that guy. Could be. I, no, but either way, Hamas saw an opportunity, okay? And they they saw an opportunity with people that needed, uh, you know, leadership, quote unquote, and somebody that would be there for them with their guns. And I think Hamas took advantage of them. And now people are dying because Hamas are cowards. I mean, that's just what it is. And so now well, you have- I just I just don't understand the whole, like, the college, the riot stuff. Mm-hmm. is is definitely taking over the whole narrative of like i mean it, it's going all over the place oh, it's yeah. not just like one it's very coordinated you know what i mean it's all over the united states yeah but yeah. why why is that shocking to you it's just like why now why because uh, why why uh does everybody go to gamestop to buy stock yeah it's same thing i mean i know that's very different but what i'm saying is internet dude everybody can talk with an instantaneous because moment. It's trending college universities have have groups of people in those universities that you know these big groups of kids and they all share tweets and they all do, hey, we're doing this event and everybody in the in the fucking campus. And then they share with their friends who are on different campuses. It's not that yeah, shocking, it, man. It's really it not that shocking. It's more organized than that, though. It is organized. George Soros is like paying for it and funding it. Like, why now? Is it because of the election? Sure. Yeah. But well, I mean, that's, we, probably, that's probably a huge part of it. Yeah. The problem is not the this. The problem is not that it's happening now. The war is what started this. You know what I'm saying? Over the past couple months, and this has been longer than a couple months, but since this war has started, you could see the writing on the wall. I mean, it's not that, to me, it's not complicated at all. The writing on the wall, that's a very dis- divisive topic, Israel Palestine. It's, mm-hmm. I mean, 10 years ago when I was working in Portland or maybe less than that, but around 10 years ago, I knew a guy who was from Palestine and he, I, he literally hated Jews. He's like, they are the fucking mm. pe- they're, they're the worst. They're fucking ruining our, co- I mean, he just hated the whole thing. I was like, damn, okay. Like I, you know, I'm not from there. I don't know. I don't know what, you know, what you've dealt with. I have no idea. Uh, and I know people right now who are from Israel and are just like, you have no idea. Like you have no idea how bad Palestine is. You know what I mean? Like we try to respect them, but, you have no idea. So yeah. there's clearly two sides. You know what I'm saying? Clearly yeah. two ide- ideologies behind it. And uh, I think you're talking about a spiritual war that, like a lot of the other places, we're not going to fucking solve this one. <laughs> like, it's been going on for so long. It's going on so long, man. It's a holy war. I mean, you're talking about Jerusalem is a landmark for a lot of people. And like, yep. who gets the 
rights to that area is critical if you're if you're a believer. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's critical. So yeah, it is. But yes, Greg, it is coordinated to some extent. But it's also not shocking that people talk and these universities have large amounts of people. That's not crazy mm-hmm. to think about. Um, it's just one protest for another. Next uh, election cycle would be a protest about something we have no idea what's coming down the pipeline. But it'll be something Here, else we're going to talk about. I'm going to send you guys the New York Post article. Oh, hopefully this works, Chris. Um, but there's an in that article, there's a map of all of the current organized kind of campus riots that are happening right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's like all over California, Texas, Illinois, Minnesota, Georgia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, yeah. Massachusetts. I mean, it's just like, God dang, dude. So something just feels like it's swelling to a buildup, just like George Floyd in May. Well, here's the thing. Right, at, right you, at the end of May. Do you think that universities are corrupt? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. I do. Do you think that universities are anti-American? Um, I mean, some can be, but yeah. I think that a large part of it is, uh, well, corporations. I feel like corporations don't give a fuck about America. They just want to make money. Dude. Well, I feel I, like I, that's what yeah. universities are. I don't, I, I'm not trying to be like super, I'm keep trying to keep it shallow, right? I think there's a lot of people in the universities that have radical ideas and, and are radical people. And so mm-hmm. at every university, there's going to be radical professors, radical boards, like whoever it may be, right? Whoever it is. And like, it is not shocking to me that these universities are speaking to one another. They know other people in other universities. Yeah. They're sharing memos to other universities. Hey, our students are going to But it's do important this. to note, radical on one side. There's never radical conservatives at <laughs> universities, right? Well, here's the thing. What's what's that? Uh, what's that Christian university? Um, that oh that, no, that uh, Trump that Trump went to. I mean, they they have a huge thing where they do like seminars and shit. It's a big stadium that they. I can't remember the name of the university. It's a college okay. university or uh, Christian university. They had a protest know. for Israel, mm-hmm. and they all sat in a giant field on their butts mm-hmm. and uh, quietly prayed. <laughs> that was what they did. And there was there you go. thousands of kids. Yeah, and so. It's not that people can't get together and protest. It's that these are what kind of protesting we're seeing. We're seeing aggressive taking over things. I just saw a video of a supposed, you know, again, it has to be supposed, Jewish student who had like the, you know, cross of David or whatever it was, the star of David on him. And yeah. uh, they would not let him go to the college. And he was like, had his hands up. He was saying, he I was, pay. He was Jewish or yes, something? Yes. And he said, I pay tuition just like you guys do. And I have every right to be at this fucking school, you know? And, and he had his hands up in the air because they were surrounding him. And all the, you know, the masks and shit and all this crap. And it's like, that's, that's not good. That's not good. That's just not yeah. good, man. Like, you know, that's not your university. You like, if you don't like him, let him go, but you can yeah. protest peacefully. Dude, that just, not. it just reminds me of the freaking the drummer, the, the native American drummer and the freaking MAGA boy. Oh, Same yeah, thing, yeah, dude. Yeah. Like where they zone in on one kid. Is this like a big story? Is this developing? No, or I just, is it no, like... I just, I saw it on, uh, I saw it on X before I got here, just on the way. Mm-hmm. I just, I was okay. scrolling through videos and that's an how many, example. how many FBI or CIA agents are, are in these crowds? Instigating? Probably a lot, dude. I, I don't Probably understand the, um, I, I don't know, man. I think like when you see some of these people talking on, even like, uh, uh, Mar, what's his name? Fucking Bill Mar. Bill Mar. Like, there's people on there having discussions. I know Bill Mar is generally a leftist, uh, mm-hmm. but some of these people he's, are. He just came out and endorsed Trump. I think. No, I think he did. Uh, uh, did he? No, because I I just watched the thing and he's like, I don't like Trump, but he hates Biden. Like that's kind of where it's at. I don't know if endorsing is. The it's more of like word. a Michael uh, what's it, Rappaport. Rappaport. Yeah, he's not endorsing Trump. He's saying I will not vote for Joe Biden. But. Uh, point being is that there are some people, and I was trying to say that USC, Val Victorian, and you guys heard about that where they canceled the graduation, which is fucked up. Oh, dude. no, I didn't USC hear about that. canceled their graduation technically. They normally have forty to 60,000 people show up at the arena or at their stadium, their football stadium, and they have a big graduation party. They canceled mm-hmm. it. Um, they're still going to do quote unquote events. But they canceled uh, it because of the riots? Oh, no, I was no, thinking, no. I was thinking Bill Barr, oh, yeah. not Bill Maher. Oh. Bill Barr. <laughs> Bill Barr didn't support him. Uh, he said he's got listen, whatever. But anyways, uh, here's the thing. The, the Val Victorian that they picked was a, of course, was a Palestinian fucking woman, you know, who's getting a doctorate in some shit. And she's very anti-American. Literally. I mean, just it was not good. They picked her. And then uh, a couple days later, 
they said, um, you know, that uh, they didn't realize that she was, uh, you know, anti-American and they were wow. going to cancel the event out of concerns, like safety concerns, because they uh, she basically said that she was going to tell people what she thought on stage. Right. And so what's shitty about it is these same kids are graduating in 2024 USC were the mm-hmm. same kids in 2020 that graduated high school and didn't have a graduation either. And so there was many people that were like, this is such bullshit. We couldn't even graduate <laughs> yeah, high dude. school and now we're in college and we Double finally screwed and they got screwed, man. But why are you picking um, this person? There was, yeah, there was another uh, like uh, speaker at one of these riots or protests, whatever the hell you want to call it. And he was saying like, this is what we need to do. There needs to be a revolution to bring in socialism to America. And I was like, oh, so that's what this is all about. You know what I mean? Like yeah. bringing in socialism or the threat of socialism, you know? Yeah. And that's where I think that this is is swelling because I think that with Joe Biden, you're going down socialism and with Trump, you're not right. And no, that's where the clear distinction is going to be. It's like, yeah. who would you rather vote for? Right. Uh, and Trump who would you rather have your day. kids grow up in a society? Right. Yeah. Like you don't want socialism. I think that's clear. And they're making it like that on purpose. And it's going to be the, uh, the sign of the times, you know, like yeah. who do I want this little one to go to school under <laughs> yeah. Joe Biden? Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Biden can kiss a dirty diaper, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, man. No, I hear you. It's it's a wild time, dude. And I think we'll it's gonna go all the way until the election. And some something may happen, like you said, or it may not. Who knows? But it's not shocking. It's that time of year. It's that time where we're gonna see all this kind of shit. Hopefully, it doesn't and we're only gonna see into, more of it. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot, more. dude. It's gonna get wild until this like war is over. Wild. You're gonna see all this shit just keep going. Oh yeah, for <laughs> so, sure. Oh well, indeedy. All right, guys. guys. You guys are awesome. Okay. You're awesome. <laughs> Great shirt, by the way, Greg. I like that. You're telling me things that I already know, Dave. Uh, no, I know. I know. Uh, saved by the bell. Cheers to you guys, man. Happy uh, whatever day it is. Fucking, what is it, Monday? Happy Monday. Shit, I don't even know anymore. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Later, Love guys. you all.